Good morning, traders. It's the 2nd of August. Um, Great British Pound US dollar. I just took a short position and then I took a long position. Um, took profits back at VWAP and along, and I've still got a little bit running here, which uh, I think I might get took out shortly. But um, the bulk of my money has been banked anyway already. So let me just show you the screenshots, which I've put in the Discord. So this was my short position. Got short here after rejecting. Took profits back here in this volume cluster. So I was expecting to see a possible reversal from there. Um, let's get that screenshot now. And then from that volume cluster, Entered long positions and I'll tip profits. Actually, it's just there. So, from this volume cluster, you can see the transition switch. Entered longs, took profits up here, which I'll talk about uh, why in a second. Yeah. All right, so Asia, daily, TPO, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. I thought coming into Frankfurt, we'd still be, we'd just rejected from there. So I thought still going to be possibly looking to make a lower low. So I'll be looking for shorts. This coincided with the custom morning chart opening, which I could see was going to open at this value area low. And I thought we'd auction down towards the single print area. Um, and I'll show you in a minute why we rejected from there. There was a reason before the single print area. VWAP chart. Traded up into VWAP, which was where this lower, higher low was, sorry. Lower high even. Uh, so that was confidence to get short as well. So I'd enter my short positions. And as I say, I took profits down here. Um, I could also see Coming into VWAP, I think I was on the 15 minute footprint. Let me just drag it over. Just get an overview of what was going on in Asia. Oh, hold on, I'm just looking. There's a lot of buying taking place around here. I reckon I will get to count on my remaining position. Um, so coming into VWAP, as you can see, there was a load of buying, buying imbalance into VWAP there. And then look, lack of interest to continue higher. We've got the pin bar there as well. So absorption took place there. And that was when we got lower. So I got short, as I say, from VWAP. That's just smaller. So having took profits there, I then thought there might be an opportunity to get long in this area, this volume cluster. Otherwise, the other option would have been to trade right through it down towards this point of control. Got a poor low there at a point of control, so we could have swept that liquidity. That was a another option. But I thought we'd get, especially as it's still in Frankfurt session, the reversal back towards the main, which is VWAP especially as we're at the deviation bands, still fairly flattish environment. Um, Delta divergence is showing there as well on the footprint, on the VWAP from the footprint order flow. So I'd seen that. Then I looked after seeing us with the exhaustion and sort of hovering around here. I wanted to see what was going on at that level. So let's just... There you can see volume node there. Let me just draw a little box on it so we can. So I was like, excellent. 
So that's my foot, that's my morning chart confluence somewhere around there. That volume node, <clears throat> you can see, traded right into it and respected it. I'm going to close this position out for it. It's only a little bit left running half a position, but I might as well bank some money rather than uh, just let it go to rack and ruin. All right, that'll do. Um, so, yeah, so we're into this volume cluster. Sorry, we've now got confluence of the custom morning chart. VWAP, we can see with deviation band extremes. We've got some divergences going on. Um, I could also see on the candlestick chart. Over. I could also see there was, see that bright blue colour there? There's live people resting order sitting there. You can see we came down. So that was uh, a reason to again get out of the trade and also look for a trade. Um, and you can see we've got the volume coming into the market as I got long. And then here I took profits, which was at VWAP. And we can see on the footprint, uh, on the cumulative delta, we got that delta burst. And then at VWAP, which is where I took profits on those positions, there is buyers just stopped participating. You can see there's a lack of buying interest there. This is coming into 7.48, so free London open. So given all that, that was enough excuse for me to take profits on one and a half positions. Oh my God. I've just gone and took profits on that remaining half a position, haven't I? And uh, we've got a bit of a bullish candle there. Oh, shit. I'm going to be gutted if we now pump up from here. I tell you, it's the market makers. They know what I'm doing. As soon as I take profits, they're like, right, here we go. Should have left it running, shouldn't I? <clears throat> So just to recap that, so got short down to here, had a market depth level here, got long, took profits here because Delta diver, uh, Delta just tallied off, faded out. There's lack of buying interest. And also we're at VWAP. And I think we're at as well, if I remember correctly, we'll have a look now. The custom morning chart, we're back at value. Um, so let's get to that, that chart. Yeah, we were back at value. So long here. From that volume node, we got value area here, back to value, as you can see, stroke also at uh, VWAP. So that was the reasons for me taking my profits there. I uh, hope you got some value from that. Probably won't be trading anymore today, and this might probably be the last video for a week because I'm on holiday in a couple of days, so obviously I won't be doing any videos. But um, yeah, I hope you got some value in that and I'll catch you on the next one. Nice one. Cheers, guys.